Okay, we're going to look at an example. Just a quick recap of the previous video. We have a body with a number of forces. We want to get an equivalent resultant force. We take those forces, place them at a convenient location. But then because we've moved them, uh, we also need to consider the moments that they cause about those points. F1 causes a moment about O, F2 a moment about O, F3 about O. Now we've got the forces. Now we get the resultant force from these three and we get the resultant couple moment, which is there and there. We've got the resultant force, resultant couple moment. And if we want to take one final step, we calculate, we can move this force a distance d and apply it at a certain point on the body based on mo divided by r okay and this is what equation 210 is telling us get the resultant force get the resultant couple moment and determine this d perpendicular distance by dividing the total couple moment by the magnitude of the resultant. Now let's look at an example. Example 2.9 we have a plate and we've got a number of forces and a couple here. So make sure that you know that when you see this this refers to a couple acting on the body. Okay so we've got a force here, force there, force there, a couple which gives us a couple moment and we have a force. Um, so it says determine the resultant of the four forces and one couple which acts on the plate shown. So we select point O as a convenient location and what do we do? First step first step is what? Is we take all those forces put it at a certain point and we get the resultant force acting at that point. So let's do that. So you take that, you take that force, you put it there. You take that force, you put it there. You take that force and put it there. So if we add them up, we get Rx is 40 plus 80 cos 30 minus 60 cos 45. Okay? And we get a resultant force Rx. We do the same with the Y components. There's no Y component there. The Y component is 60 sine 45 plus 50, plus 80 sine 30. So that's what we have there. 50, 80 sine 30, 60 cos. So we've now calculated Rx and Ry, and then we calculate the magnitude of R, and using octan of... So we've got now at this point, at point O, we have an Rx of 66.9, and we have an Ry of 132.4 and there's our resultant so the angle is octan of that value 132.4 divided by 66 and we get this angle there great I think that's pretty straightforward so now the resultant force at point O is 148.3 at this specific angle that is step one. Step two, now we need to take into account all the couple moments. Right? The, the, the rotational effects of all these forces about point O. So let's start with this guy. So I see here that they've chosen counterclockwise as positive. Okay. So let's look at the moments of each of these forces about point O. Let's start with this one. Is this one causing a moment? No, because it's passing point through point O. So, zero moment due to that force. What about this force? Is this causing a moment? Well, we first have to... We can break up and use Varignon's theorem, which says that the moment of this force about point O is equal to the sum of the moments of the components. So, break this guy up into its X component and its Y component. And then that... So this component will be 60 cos 45, right, that's the force, times the perpendicular distance, which is 4, 
Okay, and that's what we got there. 60 cos 45 times 4. And it's plus because it's going in a counterclockwise rotation. So that's that's that force there. What about this force? It'll be 60 times sine 45. Okay, sine 45. And its perpendicular distance is 7, 2 plus 5, right? And then it's going in a clockwise fashion. So that's why there's a minus there. And then what else? Oh, this one, 50. Okay. It is 50 times 5 is the magnitude of the moment. And it's going in a clockwise uh, sense. So it will also be negative. So all of these are the moments due to these forces. But remember, you should... Because these are couple moments, you should also include this in your calculation. So this is a counterclockwise couple moment of 140 Newton meters. So there, we've included that. So we've, we've looked at all four. So that doesn't cause a moment. And this, of course, doesn't cause a... There's no moment because this force passes 2.0. So this force and this force, no moments. This force, yes, we break it into two. So one, two... Three forces cause moments plus we have this couple. So we've got this one, two, three, four. And if you add them up, you get minus 237 Newton meter, which means it's going in a clockwise fashion. So there we go. We have now replaced this system of forces with an equivalent force, force couple system. Okay, so this for this object, this body, is experiencing a force in this direction, and it is experiencing a rotation of 237 newton meter. Now, the final step is let's further reduce this system of a force and couple with a single force. How do we do that? We Remember, we had this final equation or formula, which is that couple moment here is RD. It is equal to the, that, that resultant force times a perpendicular distance. So we've already got the R, we've got the moment, and we can calculate D. D is 1.6 meters. Okay, but what does this mean? It means that uh, this D is either, it's perpendicular, by the way, to this line of action. It has to be, because it's a perpendicular distance. So it's either D, it's either D um, in that direction or D in this direction. So it's either 1.6 meters in that direction or in that, this direction. How would we know? Well, we know that the moment is clockwise. So if I shift this force there, right, then that force is going to cause a counterclockwise moment about point O. So it can't be that side. It has to be this side because if I put the force there, then about point O, it's going to cause a clockwise moment because it's a negative and it's a clockwise moment. So what do we do? Well, you can just... Um, well, all you do is you just draw a perpendicular line to D, to to this of 1.6 meters. You find that point A, and anywhere along this line of action, you can apply this R, and it will give you the same net external effect on the body as all of these forces combined. Okay. All right, that's good enough.